Hi guys, this is Jeff from Simple Forex System again with another video for the guys over at PipSpring. I'm going to talk to you this time about how to load these uh, indicators and experts onto a chart so that you can actually start using Rinko on an automated basis, which for those of you that are familiar with Rinko and certainly familiar, anybody familiar with uh, what I've been doing for the last several years, that's been sort of our quest which has been to get a working uh, Rinko EA, not just from a from a trade manager standpoint, but also from a trading EA standpoint. And these guys seem to have uh, cracked the code. So I'm real happy to be able to step in here and help them out on this. Uh, first thing you may notice, we have a, a chart up. It's a, a one hour chart. Anybody familiar with Rinko is probably screaming at me right now, switch it to one minute. Well, you don't have to do that anymore, not with this EA. We're just going to leave it on the one hour chart when you open up. So, uh, in fact, we find it works better on the one hour chart with the way they have coded the, a, the EA than it does by going to the one minute chart. So just leave it on, uh, leave it on uh, H1 for now. What we'll do, we'll start by going, uh, opening up the navigator opening up expert advisors uh, what we want to do we want to put the pip spring rinko ea onto the chart so you just simply click on it uh, left click to highlight it drag it over here to the chart um, you can go ahead and put the uh, check marks and allow live trading and allow function calls those are always important if you don't do that normally the eas will not load that's uh, you, know, you don't need that uh, you have some options here, Rinko box size. Here's another thing. Uh, for those of you that know some of the older Rinkos, for any box size with a five-digit broker, you always had to add a zero. You do not have to add the zero for any of the pairs except gold and I think silver. If you're going to trade gold or silver, you still have to add a zero. But for all the other currency pairs that are currency versus currency, just uh, a five, uh, setting of five will mean five pips. A setting of ten will mean ten pips. Um, you can show Wix, uh, you know, you can, you can go through all this stuff and set it, you know, however it is you really want, but uh, uh, mostly you can just leave it alone except changing the box size. That's usually about the only thing important that you need to worry about. You click OK, add it to the chart. Um, now it's the first time I've gotten that message, but I always say yes. Whenever it asks you if you want to do something, you know, the correct answer is yes. All right, make sure that you have the Expert Advisor button turned on along the top. Uh, that's also very important, and you should see a smiley face in the upper right-hand corner. We see that smiley face. Now what it is telling us to do in standard Rinko form is to go back to the file view, open the offline chart, and now what we're looking for here is the two-minute chart. There it is. Uh, click on it once to highlight it. Click open. A new chart appears. We're going to go ahead and go to template. Uh, yeah, we want that. <laughs> go to template. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the pip spring template on. Uh, there we go. You now have essentially a working Rinko EA. Now the pip spring, this is just the pip spring EA right here. Um, if you want the, let's go back to the navigator view. I think we turn that off. Uh, what we want to do is we want to put the, um, if you want to auto trade, meaning you want the EA to trade for you. And this is important, especially if you're like in the United States and it's just too hard to get out of bed to catch the London session. Uh, by having the EA set to auto, it will take the trades for you. Uh, you just drag that onto the two minute chart. It will ask you if you want to switch out. You say, yes, I want to switch out. Um, check your, check your, uh, uh, inputs and whatnot. Allow live trading, yes, you do not need to worry about the DL imports on that one, just leave it alone. Uh, here are your settings. Uh, your stop loss, your take profit, you want a trailing stop, yes or no, you want a break even enable, yes or no. Um, all these different uh, settings and they'll go through that in the in the uh, in the book for you okay uh, I'm just here basically to show you how to get it loaded but you can adjust the settings however you need to get them adjusted. You click OK. If you go back over here and look, you now have the Pip Spring EA Auto with a smiley face, meaning it will take the trades for you from here on out. So um, that's really all there is to it. It's it's a very simple uh, a very simple matter. Um, there is a like I said, if you load the template back on, what it's going to do is going to put, take you back over to the Pip Spring. EA, which is just the basic pip spring, and what that will do is that will give you a pop-up box telling you when to take the trades. Uh, so if you want the uh, 
the the ability for the EA to take the trades for you, you want to then, like I said, drag the pip spring EA auto onto the two minute chart. So you're switching uh, you're switching uh, uh, EAs essentially, and you're back to the auto version. It's very simple. There's nothing complicated to it. Chart looks a little different than what you may be used to uh, in terms of Renko, but don't get don't get caught up on that, okay? I mean, what you're looking for here is uh, essentially uh, an EA that will trade for you and, and make you some money. And uh, I can tell you from having used this and testing it, it actually works. <laughs> it actually does exactly that. So um, that's all there is to it. And uh, there'll be some more, uh, There's like I said, there's some more documentation. And I think the guys are making some videos themselves on the uh, settings and whatnot that uh, they'll go through that in more detail. But that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Hope you uh, found this helpful, and I hope you enjoy using the Rinko EAs. This is something we've been uh, waiting for for a long time, and I'm glad to see that it's finally here. So uh, thanks for stopping in and watching the video, and uh, good luck.